Today, I'm going to introduce EasyBee's Quick Tour. What is EasyBee? EasyBee is a Chrome extension that works on WhatsApp webs. Now let's start our quick tour. We just have to search EasyBee on Google Web and this is our EasyBee website. Just click here and open EasyBee website so you will see install free here and install free there. So what do you have to do? Just click on install free and it will already take you to Chrome Web Store of our EasyBee. So this is our EasyBee Chrome Web Store. So what I have to do, I just have to click on add to Chrome and add extension. So by this extension will be automatically added to our Chrome Store. Here you can see that it is downloading and it will take some time to download depending upon your internet speed and it will automatically be download here you can see it is downloaded and now what it do? It will automatically open your WhatsApp web and I have already already logged into my WhatsApp web. So it will directly open my WhatsApp with EasyBee installed inside it. So here you can see it is loading and it is loaded. So these are my WhatsApp and this is our EasyBee extension. So here you can see it is fully loaded. Okay, so let's quickly cover up these options. What EasyBee is providing here? First is our EasyBee extension. This is our EasyBee icon. When I click on it, user profile will be open here in which I can see the mail id by which I logged in. Our plan, whether it's Teams plan or Plus plan, we want to upgrade so we can do it by here. We can join another organization or we can also add employees. Also change log option is also there. So change log means the newest version of EasyBee has provided how many features or how many bugs will be fixes will be visible here. Second thing is our roadmap. Roadmap is our map which shows us what are the integrations or what are the upgrades we will do in future. Also sometimes easily. Start this feature in which we can rate EasyB and claim $1 or we can refer and earn it will be only applicable to some time, not all the time. Another thing is switch language. We can switch to any other language if we want to see our WhatsApp or EasyB in any other language. Added email option is the last option in which we can edit an email id if we want to change it by signing it to Google or naming it an email. And we can click on change and OTP will be sent to our email and we can directly log in using that OTP. So let's start the video about the features. So these are our labels and funnels. All this we can also make customized labels and funnels from here by clicking on add label. So when I click on add label so this is our label and this is funnel. We can make it personal or shared. Personal labels are those labels which will be visible to us only and shared labels are those labels which will be shared with other persons of our organization. Suppose we want to create a funnel. We can also add stages in which we can progress the rapport of our clients. You. Second is our edit label in which we can edit a particular label by just clicking here. Here you can see edit label option is here and I can either hide or unhide it using here if I don't want to see any label or I can edit, delete or hide any label. So these things are here for personal and shared both. Also, broadcasting feature is there in which we can broadcast a message to multiple chats at the same time. We just have to select a quick report why we want to send and just click the label in which we want to send that message and click on send message and that message will be sent to all the chats within that label at the same time. Third is our notification in which we can get the notification of tasks and reminders we have made. So two things are there. First is pending notification and another one is upcoming notification. So suppose I open a particular chat and I will see AI suggestion is there. So AI will suggest a best reply for the last message for that particular chat. Also it will help us in rephrasing a sentence. Another feature is scheduler in which we can schedule a message for a particular time or particular date if we are doing any other work. Also, we can repeat after every year, month or week if we want to repeat that message. Also, quick reply is there in which we can select a quick reply and send it by just one click. This is our tools in which first is our user profile in which we can create a user profile or we can name it. We can email it and we can also add another property inside the profile. Also, follow up and task will be there in which we can add a follow up or task or we can say a reminder and we get a notification on screen. Also, we can write any notes for this particular contact from here and save it. Another thing is our Google Calendar in which we can create a Google Calendar. We can create an event for a particular time and particular date by clicking here and that reminder will be visible to us inside the calendar. 
We can also get a notification by mail or in screen, so it depends how we want to get a notification. Also, integration option is here in which we can integrate. Integrate these six things which is HubSpot, Google Sheet, Bitrix, Freshdesk, Zoho and Webhooks. We can integrate this CRM and can use it when we integrate a particular CRM it will be visible here like this. So when I click on HubSpot because I have integrated HubSpot, the user profile, task notes, deals and event ticket option is here and we want to create anything it will be directly refer selected to HubSpot website from WhatsApp only another thing is backup and sync. We can click on backup and sync and backup all our chats from here by selecting all and click on sync and all the changes will be saved. That means our chat will be backed up and that chat will be reflected in our team inbox which is used for monitoring the clients or our employees. So what we have to do, we just have to click on organization and we can directly go to EZB workspace in which our organization is made and our team inbox feature is also there. So this is our organization in which we can see all the employees details here and also team inbox feature is here. When I click on team inbox, I can monitor the chats of all my employees. So here you can see this is the chat of our employee. We can also see follow up and task made for this employee or for this particular number. So this is best tool for monitoring the progress of our sales team or how they are messaging with our customer. Another thing is our dashboard which we can see the performance of our employees and also monitor their messages, send messages and receive lead messages for a particular time in number form and also in graphical form. So this is the best way to monitor the chats. Also, my account is there in which I can add a person. We can upgrade it, we can see our last date, we can also see the seeds we added or removed or our invoices downloaded here. So these are the simple things which will be provided by EZB for WhatsApp users.